This is SAT test 5, calculator section, question 29. Again, we're asking about circles, and we're looking for the center of the circle. Again, I like to remember that if the center has x, y coordinates equal to h and k, and the radius of the circle is r, the general equation is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared, and they're asking for the coordinates of the center. So again, I'm going to have to complete the square. x squared plus 20x, leave a space, plus y squared plus 16y, leave a space, equals negative 20. Since the x squared coefficient is a 1, I can take half of the x coefficient, half of 20 is 10, square that and I get 100. Add 100 to the right hand side. For the y's, again, the y squared leading coefficient is 1, the y has a coefficient of 16, half of 16 is 8, and 8 squared is 64. So if I add 64, this quantity will be a perfect square. I added 64 on the left, I'll add 64 on the right. The x polynomial factors as x plus 10 squared. The y expression factors as y plus 8 squared. I can check that with FOIL, but I won't. Combining the terms on the right, negative 20 plus 100 is 80, plus 64 is 144. So the center is hk, where x plus 10 is x minus h. So 10 equals negative h, or h equals negative 10. And similarly, 8 equals negative k, or k equals negative 8. So my center, which is hk, is negative 10, negative 8, which would be choice b. I don't need to find the radius, although r squared is 144, so we know that. Come back soon for our next SAT math video.